Frank, uh, you've had a little bit of time to digest the 2014 season. Take take stock of it. Tell us uh, tell us how th how you felt things went and uh, what you're looking to do heading into 2015. Well, it didn't really go according to plan, but um, I, I think there's some there is some positives coming out of it. I think that um, you know as a team we were difficult to play against, and that's not always you know a good a good thing. But it's it's not it's something to build on. And I think that. Um, we're in most of the games we played. We just didn't quite get over the hump with our quality in certain areas. You know, we give up bad goals and we couldn't really see the opponent off if we're up. And I think they're the two things that we need to, to look forward to, you know, going into next year where we can strengthen the right areas and, and make sure that those are taken care of. You came into a situation where you had a lot of guaranteed contracts on your books going into 2014. Talk about the ability, maybe you have a little bit more ability to maneuver now that you've got more guaranteed contracts coming off and a better stock of your roster. Yeah, I mean we had a few things left over from the, from the year before and it's no excuse and I, I always say that before I start saying the, the, the real things that come up but um, you know I felt that the, the, the cap had to get under control, had to get where it needs to be. Um, we were going to look a lot better um, cap wise for next season, leaving space for us to, to add players to that. Um, that's exciting for, for us. I think that um, you know we want to keep the, the players that I felt did well um, from this year moving into next year and, and obviously some players will have to go because of uh, cap situations and like you said options are up on contract so you know it's, it's a maneuvering uh, time right now but we just want to make sure that we've got enough room to maneuver and, and get the guys in that are going to help us get over that hump. And when you talk about uh, strengthening the team, you, you look more at strengthening the starting 11. You have a pretty good base of guys that can supplement that. But uh, talk about the different mechanisms you have, and is there any maybe one silver bullet to finding the two, three, four guys that you need to insert into the starting 11? Well, there's, there's, there's a lot of ways of getting players. There's, there's from abroad, which is in other countries, and we sign them. We have to obviously either buy them or acquire them uh, in January. Um, there's the expansion draft coming up where you can trade before that comes up. You know, you can only protect a certain amount of players and we've got our 11 we're going to protect. Um, you can sometimes get those players from other teams that are going to be unprotected, give something up for that. But, you know, it, it will be, there'll be some players floating around, but hoping we can pull the trigger on some of those, those guys that are going to be kind of just out of that 11 protection list where we can go in. But there's, you know, there's 18 other teams trying to do the same thing. So um, we have mechanisms and we feel that um, we, I've, I've identified the spots I think that uh, we need to strengthen and get better at and we'll be targeting those players in other teams and obviously targeting players um, out of the country to come in and, and help us. It's hard to really do some serious goal setting when you don't know exactly what your roster is going to look like in 2015 but right on the right on the end of the 2014 season what are your what are your very simple goals as you had in well i mean you know every every time you step on the field you want to make the playoffs and, and have a chance of winning the cup so that's a, that's a goal right from the start to to be in the top five in our division and 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 be in the playoff hunt and i think that that's everybody's goal but it's it's no different to us so you know we're in year two now we should be growing and getting better so i expect the results to be better and and, and us growing as a team it's, again it's not a it's not a magic wand it's not easy but we feel that um, you know we can build a team that's going to be strong enough moving forward in the years to come, and obviously including next year to have a right push at making the playoffs and, and you know trying to win two trophies. We got the Open Cup and we got the MLS Cup, so that's the two that we're trying to go for.